Playing RuneScape, but only in PvP worlds in the wilderness. Not as a hardcore Iron Man, but live on stream in front of hundreds of people. Starting in Lumbridge as a level 3, any money I make can be taken by a player killer. All items are locked on the Grand Exchange until I obtain them myself through shops, PKing, PVMing or skilling. The end goal? The hardest PVM challenge in RuneScape. Zuck. Welcome to a brand new series, PvP v Zuck. In 180 days of gameplay, I'll be taking on Zuck, one of the hardest PvM challenges in the game, with whatever gear I have by the end. I'm locked to the wilderness or PvP worlds, however in PvP worlds I must be sculled at all times. I have a task list to gain points, which allow me to unlock rewards to work towards and aid my journey. I started this series on the 1st of April. If you want to watch my live progress, please go to twitch.tv. TV forward slash manked. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I honestly couldn't wait to start this series. Here we are. Let's begin. We get our two pieces of food and we're now going to go to the wilderness. My current goal is to make enough money so I can basically do five buyable skills so I can unlock a G mall so I can then go PK more money. All right, the first challenge getting into revs. Oh, anti dragon shield. Wait, can I? You know what? Burning Ami. That's actually sick. Look how much we just unlocked. We unlocked Steel Arrow, which we can use for others. Anti-Drag Shield so we can kill green drags. Dragonstone Bolt if we get a Rune Crossbow. All right, this is perfect. They killed one person. Mark that tile. No, a level 65. Okay, you can't hurt me though. They haven't looted any of this yet. No one's looted here yet. It's about to spawn. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my boys, we're rich! Okay, let's teleport out. Oh no. Oh my god, we just survived. Okay, we just got so many unlocks. Rune crossbow, near helm, full black dehyde, runes, bolts. It's time to go to PvP worlds, and in order to go to PvP worlds, I have to be sculled. I'm gonna sell all of this. We've actually just made 225k from selling all of that. And we still have a glory and a ring of wealth. Okay. We have crams as food. At 10 HP, I genuinely might just buy bread for food. Because that's the only thing I've unlocked. Wait, that's not worth. I'm going to buy crams. Oh, I really wanted stamina's, man, but I, th I thought we got one. Oh, that's unlucky. Wait, unlocks. No, I just saw... I just got hit by... Oh, my... Oh, no, he's actually... Please... Oh my, he just hit like four or five zeros. Oh, I'm so lucky. I just unlocked Amethyst Arrow though, right? Yeah, Amethyst Arrow and a Blue Wizard robe top. Fire Staff obtained. I'm trying to be as fast as I can. I'm streaming this, so the odds of me getting stream sniped are extremely high. I genuinely might buy one of every single arrow. We've unlocked all of those bows. That's amazing. It's all over. Oh my God, hit more zeros. No, this is the last hit I have to tank. Yes, no, there's one. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Okay, runes are proving to be difficult. I just need to buy one of each rune and then I can just go to GE. Run, run. I've got no run left. This is bad. Okay, I don't think he's chasing me. I think we're good. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, wait, why am I buying fire runes? Oh, this stream is silly. Yep, we're out of here. Okay. Oh, oh God, people dying everywhere. All right, we did well, we did well. I'm gonna go back to a normal world now. The first level of the series, level two mate. There's actually, uh, you guys didn't see that. God, I started recording too late. There's a level 19 hunting, but we actually just finally killed that. And now we're going to unlock big bones so we can actually train our prayer. Prayer might be really good actually. Unlocking prayer, ooh, because I won't be able to get my HP high for a while and I'm gonna be getting one hit by people. Why, why God, don't hit high. 
Yes, he got PJ'd. Wait, he can't even attack me here. Okay, I need to hop. <laughs> we just unlocked a crafting method. Uncut Sapphire. Oh, God, don't die. Wait, what can he hit? So, Uncut Sapphire. I first of all need to get some flax. But once I've got some flax, I can then start cutting these at 20, which is actually a strong method for crafting. You see some really weird things in it. He just tried to attack me. I'm level 12. Yeah. No! He's got no ammo. He just tried to attack the member. 23 mage. Okay, we now can use water bolt. We can now one hit people. Ooh, lobster. Hello. Okay, now we have lobster, which is a more appropriate for our HP. And karams as our food. That's, that's actually such a good unlock. Please one hit. Please one hit. Please one hit. Please one hit. He attacked me back. Please. That, I've got extra hits on him. Dead? Hey! Was he eating a shrimp or did he just not eat? Anything? Okay. Amethyst arrows? Okay, I already had that. Iron knives! Those are huge. Those are actually huge for range training. Look at him. No. Look at him! Please have something on you! He's got a bracelet! I've been gapped. I wish I could long range. I'm actually so angry. I should have followed him. I. Ah! So, I'm currently streaming and someone just redeemed a card which means I can't see players for 10 minutes. Therefore, I'm going to... Like, any of these people could try and kill me right now. I wouldn't have a clue. Uh, I'm going to go to Green Drags to unlock Green Dragon Bones. Green Dragon Bones, I hate myself. Dragon Bones and Green Dragon Hide. All right, it turns out, after using 17 spells on the Green Dragon, you can't hit on them. Yo, this guy's law rune. I'm yoinking that. <gasps> Marantil! Sapphire! If it goes straight into your looting bag, I don't think it unlocks it, so... There we go. Law rune. We now have law runes unlocked, which is huge. And so the journey begins to kill a lava dragon. But let's try and get home safely. We got this loot. 100k. I'm going to go sell that. In the GE, not for real life money because that's bad. There's a plank spawn. So we're going to get that for our construction in the future. So we can buy that off the GE. Small note, I'm allowed to use the Edgeville Bank in normal worlds. But to go to the Grand Exchange, I must be in a PvP world. So we didn't actually unlock any of this stuff because it went to the looting bag straight away. So, let's unlock everything. Now that is beautiful. This will be really scary in the future when people can actually attack me. And here we go. We're going to get an assignment. What are we going to get first of all? Monkeys. That's actually a difficult task. Please don't be anyone up here. I've got Entity Hydra on, so I literally can't see anyone anymore. And this is where everything starts to go downhill. Two range. <laughs> I just got one hit. <laughs> oh no. Please say that doesn't stack over. No, it does. You haven't paid me, Seb's H. Who the hell is Seb's HR department? In the future, we're going to see some crazy fights between people. And we got the teleport. I think we just completed this. Thank the Lord. All right, once we've done this, we have like 10 Slayer, I'm going to guess. Maybe 8 Slayer. Hey, and 9 Hunter. All right. Let's go to the wilderness and let's go do some Slayer. Ah, oh, Lord. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Oh, see, normally when you get a, a Guan drop, you're like, oh God, this game sucks. But that is actually so good. Now I can actually start training Herb Law, which is amazing. Oh, Runite Bolts. How many Runite Bolts is that? Oh, looting bag. Oh, mate, you love to see it. So if I die right now, I technically haven't unlocked any of this. Hold up. Games necklace. That's bloody huge. Never mind, I can't buy it on the GE. Oh. Unlock some iron bars. Nice. Oh my god, rune knives are actually amazing. That's a sick upgrade. That's honestly such a good range weapon. Where are we at with this loot? Don't know why I'm piecing guams. 89k plus 140k, 230k, not bad at all. In this series, even a simple task of collecting feathers can be an extremely dangerous one. We've got all the raw stuff we need. Turns out for Druidic Ritual, these are meant to be raw. I was thinking of Witch's Potion. Oh, man. Oh, I just got deep. <laughs> no. Oh, Herb Law is unlocked. As time goes on, the risk and danger is going to continue to increase. 
These are the items we achieved in the first episode, and here are the stats we ended up with. Here are some forfeits I had to do and survive with throughout the first episode due to my viewers in my stream. To get involved, you can join me on twitch.tv forward slash manked and click on the stream loots panel below the stream. And this has been the first episode. Please let me know what you thought of it. I understand what I was doing in game sometimes jumps from one thing to another, but in the future progress will follow a clear path. Next episode we will continue to work towards completing the five tasks we wanted to in the beginning of this episode, Also, we can unlock the extremely powerful Granite Mall. Please leave a like if you made it this far and subscribe for future content. Take care and I'll see you very soon.